Okay. We're back. Hello and welcome, everyone. What do I have? Oh my god. I have so much stuff. And so much other stuff. So that's how this works. A drink, but I feel like if I did, now would be a good time for one. I hope you are satisfied with the quarters available to you, Captain. Now that you are a member of Constellation, I am at your service. No additional protocols necessary. Also, given the likelihood that you will be out in unsettled space, it might be beneficial to go over exploration outpost development in case you ever need to build a base for field research. I arrived doing? along with many material goods purchased by the group's previous chair, Malcolm Livingstone. Despite several significant system replacements and upgrades, I have been online for 43 years. So the exploration uh, of an unknown planet can be a major uh, undertaking. By building an outpost, you will be able to construct scanning equipment, resource extractors, and defenses. It is even possible to set up multiple outposts capable of manufacturing, allowing you to build advanced equipment. Okay. The scan booster is the most obvious, as it will enable you to detect landmarks and other points of interest from further away. Beyond that, extractors will allow you to collect raw materials of various types, while fabricators enable the manufacturing. A particularly prosperous outpost may even warrant the construction of cargo links, allowing you to share resources between other outposts you have built. Sounds useful. The blueprints you need to construct an outpost should already be on your watch. It will automatically connect to any available materials for construction in your ship's cargo. Miss Barrett? My primary function has been to support and protect Barrett during his travels. I am currently unable to do so. That is as capable as I can be of missing anyone. I believe Barrett would find your question amusing. As per protocol Indigo, which Barrett invoked on Vectera. Your identity has been successfully added to the list of humans considered essential and or valuable. There is no cause for concern, Captain. I am and will remain at your service. Hey. Captain Talk McFly, I will proceed to my assigned post. Confirm. Welcome, Vasco. Uh, yeah, let's go back out here. I remember there was 
was a little scene that happened right before I ended the stream. <laughs> but I don't remember what exactly happened. Oh man, so many missions. So little time. Talk to Mr. Tate. Wait one day for. <laughs> Okay. I need to go to the tree branch from the. Is that here? Oops. Show on map. That's on Aquila City. I am not on Aquila City. Dang, chain looks awesome. Um, prime hand. Thief. Laredo. Again, not. <laughs> Hold up. Check in. Jesus Christ. Am okay, so I guess I'm going back to to Aquila City, I believe. <laughs> Altair 2. Altair 2? Mm, I, I mean, it's not where I am. Got a bunch of argon and water. I guess I'm gonna go here. To target, I'm going, I'm going to channel that and uh, resort to this out. Kill the city, right? I could just land. Oh, okay, well that that saves me from a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> like going through that. Train going to this, going to do that. Strapping up into the ship saves me from all that. <sighs> home sweet home. Also, um, I have eighty one K. That's not bad. Are you just following Hello, me now? Captain. Awesome. Hold on, I need a board. You've got something for me? I hope you're having a good day. Let's transfer. Yeah, all the resources. Right about there. I just transfer all that to myself, then I, uh, yeah, no. Okay, don't have any more resources. Dude. 
Here, let me just now, give you, you a gun. Thing. If you're looking for something... Let me, let me give you a gun. This is a great gun. You enjoy that? Guess we're done. Yeah. I mean, a forty three, huh? I don't think I have a 43, but that's also really rare for me. 13, 11. I could just sell it. Size stars is this. Okay, so I'm gonna sell some guns and then. Four pounds. <laughs> it looks like, I don't know, three. One pound difference. It matters. Constellation track. Um, I mean, that's what I'm wearing right now. Basic boost, basic boost. Could I add a basic boost to this? I, I don't know. I need to know that before I throw it in here. Yeah, let's put that, and I don't know if I can't put that in because that's uh, technically stolen. I got 11 <laughs> of this. I don't know where I got 11 of that. Let's put four in there. F five? Let's put, let's put one in there. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, that's a lot of... by itself. Alright, I gotta sell some shit. I mean, that's my problem. I need to sell some stuff right now. Hey, let's go. Greetings, Captain. Thank hey, thanks. Great to see you, too. Just sell it right there, and that's convenient.
technically this is lighter. Stuff living here. I do so hope you both appreciate the museum. It's about his family, after all. Welcome to the Co Heritage Museum. I offer a brief tour, and I'm happy to discuss the city's history as well. Most people know Solomon Co as the founder of Aquila City and the father of the Freestar Collective. He was an astrophysicist who lived on Earth in a place called Wyoming, Solomon was born around the time people first started living in space. Later in life, he designed starships, and when Earth was in peril, those ships helped to save humanity by taking them to new homes in the stars. That's, uh, that's pretty cool. Absolutely! During the Great Exodus, Solomon came to this world. He named our star Cheyenne, which was also a place on Earth, and gave Aquila its name, too. He and some others built the settlement that would go on to become Aquila City, and his descendants still live here today. Aquila City was founded over 150 years ago by Solomon Coe, a scientist and explorer from Earth. Along with other settlers, Co built the structures you see in the part of the city we call the core. Those proud buildings still stand today. The planet was dangerous, so they built a wall around their settlement. Eventually, they ran out of space and started building outside the wall. There were so many buildings that they had to build another larger wall, forming a second <laughs> outer ring around the growing another city. Another wall! Of course, the city didn't stop growing, and before long, the third wall, the outer wall you see today, was constructed. Today, Aquila City is the proud capital of the Free Star Collective, and the Council of Governors continues to meet here when they need to. Very well. People are proud of their history here, so we get more visitors than I was expecting. So it gets pretty busy here, especially with school field trips. There are some things I would kill to have. I mean, wait, <laughs> not literally. But mm -hmm. I would pay a lot for. You see, the Co family lost a treasure trove of old historic documents ages ago. And those documents would be priceless to have here. Huh. Those old things. I'll pay far more than anyone else would, that's for certain. Jacob Co and I have talked at length, and his great grandfather was a troubled man. He sold off various historic documents to cover debts. They could be anywhere. Troubled is a charitable way of putting it. 
Great Grandpa was a walking disaster. He almost lost everything, family estate included. Those documents she's talking about, they're real. We even have a few that survived. Your father donated what was left to the museum. <laughs> Jacob did what? I didn't think charity was in his vocabulary. If you find any of that trove of documents, I will pay dearly for it. Thank you. Think of the future generations that could benefit from seeing such important history. Hmm. Tree Ranch. That is not something I expected to hear today. I assume you're somehow associated with the United Colonies? I've received some odd messages of late. More of a private contract. Mm. A lot of that these days. You do what you have to, I suppose. But I can't see myself taking jobs from the UC. Hey, I get it. But we have to collectively let go of this feud with the UC. And besides, this is really just about... a tree and someone who is really, really attached to it. Are you defending the UC? I must say, I expected more from a co. Excuse me? Well, I'm afraid you've wasted your time because I'm not authorized, nor particularly inclined, to release any of our pieces. That includes hundred-year-old tree branches. I just want to know Sorry, about it. but it's staying in storage. Alright, clearly I need to do a little quick save in here. And then maybe do I have any persuasions I can use? Everything you see here is a piece. I hear what you're saying, but I'm afraid it's out of the question. Handing over that branch is starting to look pretty good. <laughs> so give me two. About the risk. We'll see who gets tired of this first. I guess it couldn't hurt. I can bring him back. I can't believe I'm doing this. Please return it in one piece. Okay. Kelton? Wait, which... Which, uh... Which... Which... Which quest is this? Which quest am I doing right now? I have the branch. I should get back to Kelton as soon as I can. For that, how about this? Is that that's this is an uh, killer, right? Yep. <coughs> it's over there. Apprehend the little arm teeth at midnight, so I can't do that now. <coughs> Funny stuff with that boost pack. Got enough light traffic as it is. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'll be respectful here. Gravity is a harsh mistress. And here, even more so. 
We need to be smarter, better in the way we handle the Ashta. Hey, how have you been? Staying out of trouble? I suppose you could. Things here have been... Well, they're better. The Isis thought a bit between me and Davis. We'll probably never be friends, but at least we're on speaking terms now. I think he finally appreciates the value of my research. Yeah, we're much better as a team, even if it is a cautiously engaged one. In fact, speaking of Davis, I have to confess, I'm a little worried about him. In analyzing the recent data, I've isolated readings suggesting that someone is making patrols far more often than in the recent past. I don't have any direct evidence, but I know it's Davis. It's gotta be. Hmm. I'm worried that everything I've inadvertently put him through is kind of, I don't know, pushed him over the edge, or at least a little too close to it. No, he's not. He's out there at least four and a half times as frequently. There's something else going on. I'm better with statistics and circuits than I am with people. I've already made a mess of this situation. Do you think you could go speak to him? If nothing else, it would ease my conscience. Alright, I'll take the damn Wilson. Ashta are sometimes spotted by the fox. I can't believe Bailey did such a bonehead move. Oh, brother. Why is it every time I see your face, I bet a headache's gonna follow <laughs> shortly after? Come on, is it? Dave, I'm hurt. Mm-hmm. All broken up about it, I'm sure. <laughs> so what can I do for you? I just wanted to ask you something, man. Okay. If you're looking to get yourself killed, there are easier ways than letting you ask to do it. Damn, that's just so direct. <laughs> um, I mean, we're, we're worried about you, honestly. True to God. I don't know whether I should be reassured that someone cares or creeped out that someone's watching me that closely. Ah, that woman, I swear. Even though we've smoothed over most of the rough spots, she still manages to strike a nerve without even trying. No, I know she's not. Might not have believed it when she first showed up in the town, but she's been honest and on the level. When we were out there and we found that robot, obviously that threw me for a loop. Still can't believe one of my own people will pull a stunt like that, endangering us all. But the more I thought about it, that whole episode doesn't account for some of the tracks I saw out there. Too large, too spread out. I mean, you're... Your word, man. I can't rest if something out there still ain't right. By now, you ought to appreciate at least that much. If there's a bigger Ashta out there, something meaner than what we've seen so far, I have to know. I tell you what, if you and Kiona are worried, why don't you just come with me then? Either I get an extra gun in the fight, or you get to laugh at the old man and say, I told you so. I give you a chance to gear up if you need it, and uh, maybe grab the biggest gun you got, just in case. I already got it. All right. You know, Keone showed me her data. She's a clever kid. She's got a lot of things figured out. I think we can make some real improvements in the future. She had a couple man. sets of data that she thought were erroneous or something. Uh, Seems to me that might not be bigger, faster, ash. With the tracks I've seen. But I tell you, I'm hoping she's right and it's just a glitch.
27. Tell her I said that. Wouldn't want it going to her head. All right, here we are. Let's head this way. I remember a story from the first time I was here on the Kila. I had totally forgotten about it till recently. Every so often, we get independent types who think that they can succeed where everyone else has failed. Some of them stride off into the wilderness, certain that they're going to make more credits than anyone in history. Mining, botany stuff, whatever. Mm. Warners just don't get through to them. Most of them don't come back. But this one time miner from some corporation or other, he drags himself back into the city bloody and half dead. I should have come out here a long time ago. Shit, that's gotta be it. No matter what happens, you make it back to the city and tell them about this. You hear me? No, 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 no. I'm gonna make you. go to waste bro did you see that if we didn't have proof nobody would believe us about the alpha I'm not gonna lie to you I didn't think we were gonna make it through that if you hadn't been with me no way I'd be standing right now never thought there'd be a day when I saved the Davis Wilson Oh, that's fine. Let's do it again. <laughs> <laughs> you are something else. You know that? We got out of lie this one time. That's good. But this ain't gonna be the last time we have to deal with this. Now that we know these things are out here, we need to track them and keep them out of populated areas. And that plan is gonna need everybody. So, I'm gonna swallow my pride a bit here and ask you to go tell Keone what we found. Let her know that her data wasn't an error, and that she needs to focus on it. You're just playing her. Aren't no, you? of course not. I'm an old man, slow on the move. You can get there so much faster. She'll prefer hearing the news from you anyway. Thanks again for saving my ass. Hmm. Okay. Convenient thought, but I am I am pretty much faster than you and Sam Cole apparently. Still running after me. Sca Sam, is it something I did? Kill for a cup of coffee right about now. Ah! No, your time. So, what happened? Well, He didn't. There's no way Davis would say that, even if it's true. But it is true, isn't it? My data was accurate. You know, I was really hitting a point where I was starting to think maybe this was all a mistake. 
that I stuck my nose into something I shouldn't have. Davis was so certain they had everything under control that they didn't want or need my help. But they did, didn't they? Yeah, you're right. If anything, this has proven I should trust my instincts. I need to get to work on this immediately. But while I've been sitting around, I whipped up a little something for you. What? I thought it was funny. <sighs> now that I'm giving it to you, I'm hoping it's not in really poor taste. Anyway, thank you again. Legendary rifle. Spend the assassin. Nine and thirty-nine millimeter ammo. Now build a mountain ash to add your apples. Kelton Frush. Is that uh, here? Is it killer? Mm, no, that's Jimson. new batch how to go over I know you like Henry but what there's something wrong Sam said it tasted off really off Gladys said it was fine then she dumped her whole glass on the floor when she thought I wasn't looking oh, no I don't think we should carry Henry's stuff anymore our regulars have stopped ordering his old stuff too I'll break the news to Henry. Damn. Hey. I feel for the folk in the stretch. They try and get a predator to. It was just off. That's a good way Ecologies are living things. They move. A nice way to put it.
until Weston needs to get his brother focused on food production instead of wasting time brewing beer. Something happened to Henry's beer? That's terrible. So terrible. But I'm sure I know nothing about it. Here's some credits for delivering the news. I expect that's the last I'll be seeing of you. Well, I'll get stuffy sometimes. Lodge does get stuffy. A pleasure to see you again. I don't suppose this time you're here to buy property. It's an unfurnished one bedroom. Lots of... It's a very convenient location. Just a block or so. Are you interested? Um, why not? Excellent. Most excellent. With the funds transferred, you can take possession immediately. I wish you good fortune in your new home. I'm the best realtor in town, if I don't say so myself. Have a great day. <laughs> Decoration.
Why shouldn't you relax when you're in dining in here? So let's talk. So how much of a thrill has it been traveling with the one and only last descendant of the great Solomon Co? Is it everything you imagined? Ain't you ever heard of sarcasm, friend? Okay. So how's it traveling with one of the great codes? <laughs> <How about it? laughs> yeah, but no autographs, okay? I gotta say, it's a relief <laughs> being with you. So many people hear Co and they expect me to pull some miracle out of a hat. Time has a way of just building on itself. Solomon was a good man. Great one, even. 
But if he ever heard all the bullshit being talked about him these days, he'd flat out deck him. Well, <laughs> all my miracles. It appears I left him in my other jacket. Sorry. <laughs> but really, for some people, it ain't a joke. They have serious expectations. Yeah, there uh, there was a time, well before Cora, where it really weighed on me. I felt like every little thing I did or didn't do was a reflection on our great legacy. It's enough to drive you crazy. Now I just hope I can help Cora to... <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, yeah, let's see if you can do better with her. Some days I think she's half feral. <laughs> For my father, Cora, and me, everything starts and ends with Solomon Co. He looked out at the stars and he dreamed a way to get there. Imagine being the first person to jump into a new system, set foot on a new world. Well, I get it. That's powerful stuff. And now. I'm just getting sappy. You're a bad influence, you know that? You say the damnedest things. Well, I hope the comic book they make about our adventures is better than that rag on Solomon. The stuff they publish is just downright embarrassing. Ten nickels. Zero wire. 
this in the completed if it's not completed? My, ma my manor in the core has been approved by both the mayor and the historian. Wait, before you go, my instinct says you're a person who knows how to work with their hands, or in this case, heavy equipment. Are you familiar with mining lasers? Excellent. There are so many in the stretch living in terrible conditions. The Low House and I are working together to make cheap, affordable housing. But the land we want to build on has hard stone that needs to be cleared. There is some pay, but everyone involved in this project is doing so at a discount. Once you clear the land, we'll be one step closer to changing some lives for the better. Saw your ship come in. Nice ride. Oh! Sorry, it startled me. People joke. See those maroons. Hard rock in there. So we're gonna have a hard rock. That's what Mr. Tate is working on. If you are ever looking to buy from Marvelous. One step closer. I can't wait to tell Miss Wolf. I know it's not much, but this is well earned. Was that it? Take okay. Save here and uh, where's it telling me to go? It's telling me to go out now. Unless I want to be deputized. Just here, I don't know what comes on. Seems like the crimson.
Been up there, huh? Space. Must be cool. I didn't know this. Work hard, play hard. Oh, That's you're back. How'd it go? Good. You did what I asked, I so let's go meet the marshal. Follow me. Uh -oh. All she wanted to do was talk about Aquila City's history. I got a 90 minute Welcome to the Rock. Yes. We're headquartered in the upper floors of the Rock, but we also have remote stations throughout Freestar Collective Space. Helps us to identify and respond to threats more quickly. There are less than a dozen Rangers in all, and we operate with limited resources. Thankfully, most people respect us and are willing to cooperate. In this job, your eyes, ears, and wits are every bit as important as your badge and your sidearm. Awesome. Marshal. Emma. I take it you're here because you're satisfied that our new recruit can handle the job. Seems capable enough, and we could use the help. All right, then. Step forward, recruit. Let me have a word with you. Excuse me. I've got just one question. Do you pledge to defend the people of the Free Star Collective, even if it means risking your own life? Well, that's not quite the same thing, but it'll do for now. <laughs> Here, take these. You're now a Free Star Ranger deputy. I'm assigning you to Ranger Wilcox for some field training. Listen good to what she tells you. Welcome aboard, deputy. Emma? Congratulations. The Rangers ain't a bad outfit, and they're lucky to have you. Wish we could throw you a welcome party, but there's work to do. We got word from a farmer on Montero Luna. She says someone's trying to take a farm, and she's afraid she might be in danger. Well, it's a moon that orbits Montero. It's got a breathable atmosphere, warm climate, and good soil for growing. Nice. Well, most things do at the start. Doesn't mean they stay that way. That being said, best not to assume anything. Just try to keep an open mind. Grab any supplies you might need, and let's get going. Sure. Pay attention to what Ranger Wilcox tells you. Star Ranger now. Got that. Oh. Got into here. It might continue later. It might not. We'll see. For now, I'll uh, catch y'all later. Peace.